Hi, Terry here. Thanks for dropping by. If you've ever traveled, then you're familiar with what it is that the flight attendants tell everyone on board a plane before it takes off while they're doing their safety announcements. What is it that they say? They say, in the event of loss of cabin pressure, oxygen mass will fall from the ceiling from the compartment above your head. Pull gently on the mass to start the flow of oxygen. Then they go on to share some incredible wisdom, and that is, if you're traveling with someone else, be sure to don your own mask before helping someone else. Now why is that? Well, it's because if you don't have oxygen to take care of yourself, if you don't take care of yourself first, you're no good to anyone else. Just imagine if you're on this plane and the oxygen, the oxygen pressure o pressure's dropped, there's no oxygen, and you're running around trying to help everybody else. I get you wouldn't be running around, but you get what I'm talking about. What would that be like? How much good would you be to someone if you don't have enough oxygen to breathe? Not much. Well, and, and as I was thinking about it, it was, you know, last night, what got me thinking about it was last night I had the opportunity to spend the evening with a good friend of mine. Now, she's someone I've known for going on 20 years, not quite that long, but we, we, don't, we don't live in the same area. We've never lived in the same area. Uh, we attend, you know, we used to see each other four or five times a year, and lately, you know, because of changes in, in our lives and different paths that we've taken, we don't even see each other that often. But she was in town, so we got together last night, and and it's just amazing when you have those people that you you have in your life and you don't see them often but they're such close to you there's so much family to you that when you are together it's like no time has passed at all and we spent and and we laughed and we we talked about you know things crazy things we've done and we talked about crazy things we want to do and and we just shared and caught up and laughed and laughed and laughed and and i realized you know how good that laughter felt because we weren't worrying about the past or, or kicking things about what had happened, and we weren't frustrated about, you know, and pondering the future. We weren't concerned about something that's coming. We were simply in the now. We were simply being. We were simply in a point in a time of, of recreation, really. We were playing. And, you know, recreation kind of gets a bad rap because people say, oh, you know, shouldn't that be the last thing on your list because you've got all these things to do. You know, you've got to you fix, got to keep the house clean, you've got to get the kids off. If you've got a job, you've got to get to your job. If you're trying to build a business, you've got to do the things for that. There's so many things in our world to worry about that taking care of ourselves often ends up at the end of the line, at the end of the list. And so as I was thinking about back about how much fun we had last night, I started looking at the word recreation and thinking about it and and many of you may have heard this but if you look at the word recreation it's not trivial and it certainly shouldn't be a bottom priority because the word itself tells you what it is it's called recreate right you recreate you recreate yourself and and when you recreate yourself that gives you the opportunity to um, to to let go of worries to to um, allow your mind to go into what's possible. Um, uh, it allows you to really touch your heart and your soul and, and really kind of dig into what your purpose is. And that all has to do with being in the now. Because when we're in recreation, we're never thinking about what we need to do when we get home. We're never thinking about the, you know, the future. By recreation, by its very definition, is being in the now. Um, and so it, it started me thinking about, you know, the, the, some plants that I just had to repot. You know, I had this, this, this African violet that had overgrown its pot and it needed to be put in another pot. And it divided into three plants when I took it apart, put it in the soil, and brought them back in the house and started taking care of them. And darned if I didn't find that, 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 that they weren't doing very well. I mean, they were okay, but they just weren't thriving and they weren't putting out flowers. And, and I knew it took some time, but I gave them that time and, and I would feed them the water and it would stay on top and I would um, you know it, or it would sink right through but nothing was helping to nourish the plant and I realized that it was it restricted in the pot that even though it was in a pot that was plenty big enough the soil was so dense that it could the roots couldn't grow and it wasn't getting the oxygenation that it needed so I went and I decided I needed to repot them I went to the store and I got the proper soil that had the right nutrients for that for those plants and had the the aeration in it so that they they actually had room to grow and 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 thrive and and become their potential got them repotted and darn they are just just doing fabulously now and so I, I, I share this to share with you how about you are your roots restricted are you are you limiting yourself because you're not taking care of yourself are you are you putting basically um, 
uh, are you holding yourself back because you don't have enough to give to the future you want to create? So, and, and if that's the case, then I urge you to take some time, play for a while. You know, you don't have to play for two weeks or a month or you know, the next year, but make sure that every part of your day has something in it that you enjoy that takes you away. Maybe it's turning on music and dancing. Maybe it's getting together with a good friend and laughing till you cry. I don't know what it is for you, but find out. No, you know, you know what it is for you. Just think and look in your heart. Think when are the places and the times when you feel the most you, when you feel the most at peace. And add that into your life because I promise you, whatever it is you're working on, whether, you know, whether you're just trying to be the best parent you can and you're overloaded and overstressed by all that needs to be done, or if you're trying to you know, get a promotion at your job, or if you're trying to build a business, you're trying to get in shape, whatever it is, and I understand getting in shape is caring for yourself, but there's ways you can do it that are kind to yourself, and there are ways you can do it that are not so kind to yourself. And I encourage you then just to remember that put on that oxygen mask, take care of yourself first so you have more to give to the people that, that you have, that you love, and the dreams that you are seeking. And I, I hope that this has been helpful to you. You know, let this settle into your mind. Let it settle into your heart. And I'd love to have you give me some feedback about if it's helped you and, and what part of it helped you and, and what is it you're trying to accomplish in your life because I'd really love to be able to be part of helping you on that journey. And if you'd like to have more positive in your mailbox, your email box, put your information in down below. Get on my email list and I'll make sure that you hear some good messages on a regular basis because the more we feed our mind with good things, the more good things can grow from us. You know, it's really hard for a plant to grow the fruit that it's supposed to bear if its roots are, st are, st are stagnant. You might notice that the background suddenly changed a little bit behind me. Maybe the light's a little bit different. And uh, that's because my camera died. And I just find it ironic that the universe decided to add one more example to what we've been talking about here. You gotta keep your battery charged because if you don't keep your battery charged, you can't get things done, right? So just another example of why you need to take care of yourself. So I just want to finish up with this. If you'd like to have more, you know, we all need to surround ourselves with positive. We need to surround ourselves with things we can believe in and things that will pull us in the direction that are of our dreams. And so if you'd like to have more positive coming into your email box, just click the link below, put your information in, and I'll, and I'll, I'll make sure that happens. You know, on, maybe not every day, but on a regular basis, you'll have good things, positive things, uplifting messages show up in your, ma in your email box to help, designed to help you um, grow and, um, and learn and most importantly feel the, the changes and, the, and feel what you, it is you intend to bring into your life because by you know, what you think, what you feel and what you do all matters. So again, thanks for dropping by. Appreciate your time today. Um, do remember always that mindset not only matters, but mindset is everything. Have a good, great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.